So I was looking for products to sell on Etsy and I stumbled across puzzles. Not only are they super popular, they're a great product to sell because they never go out of trend. And it's something that you can keep creating new variations for. All you have to do is kind of change the image. And puzzles are big on both Etsy and Amazon. So you have two platforms that you can sell your product on. And it's usually good for the older generation. It's more popular there. And as we all know, the older generation has more spending power. You know, and looking at some of these sales, this one has 315 sales at 41 bucks. That's a good amount of revenue if you can get your product cost low. This is a more simple one here. It's like a queen frog. Uh, 580 sales, $40, 14 cents. So high traffic on Etsy, getting lots of sales. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this all for free using only AI. It's super simple and super cool to do. Okay, first, when you're on your Etsy homepage, you're gonna search for puzzles. And let's do puzzle for adults. This is gonna be one of the keywords we're targeting. And I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna find something that I like. So it's sorted by best sellers, and see this tag here? So this is a good indicator that this style of puzzle is selling very well on Etsy. And you just look at the numbers here, 2,100 sales at 50 bucks. So this product's making a lot of money, and it looks like the same person drawn by Holly, and she has different types of puzzles, you know, all with high, high reviews, high ratings, and a high number of sales. So now that we know that this type of product is selling, I'm gonna click in, and we're gonna view what this is. So I think it's pronounced Macabre Mansion from Edgar Allan Poe. So this artist drew a visual. Click in, okay, that's a beautiful looking puzzle. It's pretty cool. You know, this is a type of puzzle that I would do. I love the style of it. It's very complicated. There's a lot happening in every room of this mansion. And so it'd be nice to recreate something like this as best as possible. So take a look at this. Look how it looks. I'm going to close this. Now we got to grab this image. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to save image as. And it's saving as a .avif file. So we're going to convert that. Let's go avif to png. Click this. We're going to select that file from our computer and convert it. All right now we have a PNG file of that image. We're gonna download. All right, now let's open up Discord. We're gonna go to a mid journey server. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit forward slash and then describe. And this is gonna make an image prompt for that puzzle picture that we downloaded so we can recreate it. So let's click this, we're gonna upload this. That's our image and we're gonna hit enter. All right, let's just give it a second. We're gonna look at some of these prompts here. Halloween house art poster uh, in the style of impressive panoramas. Okay, drawing of a haunted house style intricately mapped worlds, detailed character illustrations, uh, number three, Okay, this last one, this number four, seems like a pretty good prompt that I can change for different styles. So let's copy this. We only need that aspect ratio for now. And now let's head over to chat GPT. Now we're gonna hover over GPT-4. We're gonna scroll down to Dolly 3. And we're gonna paste this prompt in, but we're gonna change it a bit. Instead of art, deco, horror house of horrors, take away that. Let's do something like a kingdom in the sky. Now let's hit enter and see what it can come up with. You know, again, we're trying to get that style of puzzle art but for a different topic. All right, triggered a content policy and I asked what it did and it was that last word. So let's redo this prompt here. I'm gonna copy this. And instead of that last word, let's remove dark silver and light bronze. Let's do colorful instead. And maybe something like where's Waldo style. Hopefully that doesn't trigger a content policy again. Let's hit enter. All right, those are pretty cool. Let's see this first one. Yeah, that's something I was envisioning. That would be a very hard puzzle to do. Let's see what this other one looks like. Oh man, this one too. Those are both so great. I like this first one, so I'm gonna grab this first one, let's download it. All right, it's downloaded to our computer. And in order to create puzzles, your image needs to be of the highest quality. And when you're creating them with Dolly 3 or Mid Journey, the images just aren't up to scale. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an AI upscaler. I like to use this free image upscaler called Pixel Cut. So we're gonna go to pixelcut.ai, we're gonna upload our image. Let's click this, let's select our photo. By default, it's gonna upscale to 2x. If you wanna go even higher, 4x, you're gonna need a premium account, but this 2x is pretty good for our use case. So just leave it at the default and click download, and it's gonna download that new image to your computer. Okay, now we gotta put this image on a puzzle. So I like to use Printify. Go to Printify, we're gonna to go to the catalog, and we're gonna search for products, we're gonna search for puzzles, and let's find one here that suits our need. It gives us two options here. This first one has 120 pieces, 252, 500 pieces. This other one can go up to 1,000 pieces. 
go back to Etsy. Let's see what this one is. Learning more. I'm trying to get the puzzle counter. These are a thousand piece jigsaw puzzles. So go back to Printify. We're going to have to go with this one. And let's scroll down. We're going to go start designing. Okay, this is our canvas. And in the top right corner, we're going to go product variants. And we're going to select a thousand piece puzzle. So it looks to be this one here. Update. It's going to change the canvas to more of a landscape one. Now let's go to my device and select that upscaled image, hit open. And now let's stretch this to the ends and we're gonna center it. And here we go, we have our beautiful picture laid out as a puzzle. So now we can save product. I'm gonna select our title image. I like the one that shows that it is a puzzle. I zoom in, it looks like this. All the pieces scattered, it's pretty cool. Now we gotta fill out some of the details because when we publish this, it's gonna go right to our Etsy store. So product description, we need a title. And we want something like their title that's selling pretty well. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over to ChatGPT. I'm going to create a new chat. Make sure the default selected. We're going to start by uploading our puzzle image. We can just do the smaller one here. And we're going to write, this is a puzzle that we're selling. Please give us a title, a product title, similar to, and I'm going to paste that one in. Enter. There we go. Fantasy Floating Islands 1000 Piece Jigsaw Puzzle. Perfect title. Absolutely love it. Let's paste that in. We'll go back here. Let's see what the description's like. All right. She describes it in the top here. I think I want to make our description a little bit more unique. So this is the default here. Let's take this, go over to ChatGPT, and let's write create a product description for us and use these details. And we're going to paste that in. Now ChatGPT is writing a product description for us. It seemed to change the title of the puzzle, but we can just switch that back up. I like our first one better. No, it's not available in all sizes. We're only selling the 1,000 right now, so I'll have to change that. All right, let's copy this all. Go back over to Printify. We're going to paste this in, and let's make some of the edits here. So first off, we're going to change the title. Delete this just so it's piece count. We're going to go available in... 1,000 pieces, delete this line because it's not relevant. We can keep the uniform cut, elegant puzzle presentation. Instead of that, we're gonna take the fantasy floating islands and then one more title change here. All right, perfect. So we got our three images. We have our product title, we have our product description. Shipping's all handled by Printify. We have one variant and we're gonna set the price. So she's selling hers for 5017. I say we do, well, that's 5017 Canadian. Let's do a quick conversion here. This has been proven to be a good price to sell because she's a best seller. So it's giving us $36.71. Let's copy that. Let's change the retail price to that. And each sale would give us a profit of $10.13 US, which is a 28% profit margin. And then this is the automatic shipping price that they charge. So we're going to keep that there. Scrolling down, these two settings can stay as is. Let's hit publish. All right, there we go. Our new puzzle is uploading to Etsy. Now I did two other ones previously to test this out. Now if we go back to Etsy and we go to our store, then we go to our listings, our newest product, the Fantasy Floating Island, is now available for sale. So I click into this, there we go, there's our title. Our images are just uploading right now. Got the thumbnail and this nice product description, but we're not done. There's a few things we need to do here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the tag section because tags are gonna help our product get discovered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google. We're gonna search Etsy tag generator. We're gonna click this first link from Etsy check. And now we're gonna find the best tags and keywords for our product. So let's just start with puzzle. And here we go. We have a bunch of tags that are related to puzzle. Now we're gonna scroll through. We're gonna see what's best for our product. So I like puzzle, I like jigsaw puzzle, and I like gift. Let's go puzzles. It's not a custom puzzle, personalized puzzles. Jigsaw, wood puzzle, adult puzzle, adult jigsaw, puzzle gift, wooden puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle, family puzzle, unique adult puzzle. And that should be good. Let's scroll up. We're going to copy tags, go back to our Etsy shop, and let's paste those in and hit add. There we go. We have our 13 tags. The delivery options are handled by Printify, so we don't have to change any of that. And we're going to make sure that our renewal option is set to what we like. I don't know if I'm gonna be selling this in a few months from now, so I like to keep this on manual. We're ready, let's hit publish changes. So now my store has three puzzles in different genres. We have a fantasy floating island, a Jurassic Park dinosaur theme, we got an underwater city. And if you did this 100 times, 100 product listings, you get enough traffic, enough visits to make a good amount of income, good amount of sales. You can do this for any niche, any type. And this isn't the exact style that you need to do too. I just like the style, I think it's pretty cool, it's unique, it's a Where's Waldo type. Now every time you make this puzzle, it's gonna feel a little bit different because it's so complicated. But yeah, feel free to steal this idea, create your own Etsy shop, and start selling your own puzzles. All right, that's it for now, later.